Okay, I think it's working out. I think it's working. All right. Yeah, we're back. I don't know why I had to, like, block the camera. All right. Jesus. So I was, like, talking for, like, five minutes, and you guys didn't hear me. All right. So I think you guys can hear me now. That's weird. That's never happened before. Hell yeah. We good. We good. Again, I just had to, like, block my camera just in case I had to get up and do something. All right. Cool. That's great. Glad you guys let me know audio is fine because I would have just been talking and then would have never realized. Uh, how much you want to bet he's not wearing pants and that's why he covers the cam. Now I'm wearing shorts as you can see right here. Oh, the camera got all glitchy now. What the fuck? Let me fix that. All kinds of technical difficulties. Well, it's better than the stream getting crashing or anything like that. So, okay, there you go. Camera's fixed. All right. Oh, yo, if Arjuna Alter gets a buff, that will be busted for sure. That will definitely be busted. I think I knew what was wrong. I had another application open and I guess it was using my mic. I don't know. So I had to close that and it, everything's fixed. So note to self to close that application next time I stream. That's hot. That's hot. So nine more minutes till maintenance is over. I already forgot what I was talking about in the beginning of the stream. I think I was asking you guys which CE you guys picked for White Day. I think. Which, which one you guys picked? Obviously, I picked the one with Gil. I mean, that's that's an easy pick. And I'm not rolling, by the way, for uh, the U.S. English version. It, it is indeed a classic uh, main character moment when there's uh, stream difficulties, mechanical difficulties. But we are good. We are good now, hopefully. And nine minutes maintenance should be over for JP. You picked the ignore defense CE. Which one is that one? I don't, I don't know any of the effects. I just picked the one based on art. Which I'm gonna do for uh, 
JP as well. There's a Gilgamesh Craft Essence where he's playing with uh, Archer and Ku, which is interesting. The Dantas Craft Essence, nice. So, uh, I'm, I'm chilling. I'm not going to roll in um, NA for sure. Hit that like button, by the way. Um, I'm going to be rolling in... Let me think about this. Will I roll in JP? I'll think about it. But I'm definitely going to pick the Craft Essence with Gil and whatnot. Oh, and yeah, the C's will be uh, voiced as well. So that's going to be fun to hear for sure. It's the first time we have voices uh, for craft essences. It's a very weird concept, but I welcome it. I mean, it's a, it's a new cool little feature. I don't think they're going to do it for every craft essence here moving forward. But probably just like for big events or specific events. Not necessarily big because this White Day event isn't really a big event. I mean, Arjuna Altar is coming back. So it's like, you know. Yeah, Nightmare on the Day, presumably. I mean, I said he's back in the thumbnail. <laughs> Technically, he wasn't officially announced for the gacha, but he's getting a costume, and they were showing off his Noble Phantasm in on Twitter and all these other uh, different social media. So it's like, you know, it's pretty much confirmed that he's getting a banner. If he's not, then I'm sorry for uh, clickbaiting you guys, but I'm 99% sure that he's getting a second banner because if not then they're really leading us on with the costume and the fact that he's like the poster boy of the event like there's no, there's no shot that he's not getting a banner as for a buff somebody said earlier if he's getting a buff or if that would be a good idea i i don't think he needs a buff but if they give him one then holy shit he's gonna, he's already broken as it is buffing him really doesn't is isn't really necessary but if they do it, then holy shit. We don't know who Michael is, by the way. We still don't know who that servant is. Some people said Archangel uh, Michael. I saw another one. I forget the last name. It starts with an F. I think he's like a famous scientist. Um, you know, so I saw some joke ones like Michael Jackson. It, it's not him. It's definitely not him. But um, I don't know if this guy's going to be a servant. It could be somebody that they're going to save for later. But at the same time... You know, this is FGO. We have a lot of NPC characters that, you know, haven't come out. So, Arjuna Alter and NA is NP3. And I hope, I hope's on him getting to NP5 as high as fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's two more years, bro. You have time to save. You have time to plan it out. So, there you go. Only got 60 quarts for Gajuna. I hope you get lucky, man. I mean, your name is literally Lucky. Or that could be Lukai. I'm not sure. What's up, King of Nerds? How are you, man? I'm doing okay. I'm doing fine. I'm a little bit tired. So this will probably be on the shorter side of the stream. I'm going to do a little bit of quests. I'm going to try to get Arjuna's costume if it's already accessible. Because I already have Arjuna Altar in JP. So I just have to get his costume. Hunter Jones. Yes, presumably he's back. I said this earlier, but um, technically they didn't officially announce his banner. But he's getting a costume and he's the poster child of the White Day event. So might as well say that he has a raid up, you know? I wonder how long a person has to be dead before they get added to FGO. Technically, we have... I mean, Emi is alive, so technically... You know, he's like the, the newest, I guess, quote-unquote newest, youngest hero heroic spirit. But as far as, like, real life, uh, you know, historical figures and folklore uh, characters and whatnot. I mean, in the reading, uh, learning FGO manga, right? There's There's characters there that were alive 100 years ago, like within the past century. So obviously they're not playable, but you know, I'm just saying they're still servants. Yeah, real life people for sure. Um, I mean, obviously they can't pick anybody controversial. I mean, th there are technically some controversial characters, but they're like thousands of years old. So I don't know. I would like to see like somebody like Isaac Newton or like um, probably not Einstein. Einstein is probably like too, too recent. But Isaac Newton would be cool. I want to see more uh, figures that a lot of people definitely know. If Arjuna Alter gets a buff, Morgan will be dead. <laughs> Dude, I if he, I assume if he gets a buff, it's probably going to be like a very, um, I don't know, niche or minor buff. It wouldn't be anything crazy. I, at least I hope not. Because he's already really good. And, you know, a lot of people say Morgan's better. To me, they're both slightly different they're i mean they're both aoe buster berserkers you know like but uh, morgan is slightly more leaning towards a, a sub support 
She she acts like a semi support a little bit, whereas Arjuna alters just straight damage, and Arjuna alter already does more damage than her, just because of his uh, extra damage against debuffed enemies. So, I mean, if you want more damage, you go Arjuna alter. If you want more support, you go Morgan. To me, that that's you know, that's their defining factors right there. I don't think one's better than the other. It just truly depends on the situation and your uh, play style and who you like more. Essentially, I, at least I think they're both like on equal grounds. Yeah, Star Bomb, honestly, that wouldn't be that bad of a buff. I mean, he needs a way to get uh, crit stars. I think uh, Star Bomb, honestly, is not that bad of a, of a buff. In fact, that's actually a pretty good buff when you think about it. Star Bomb. Now, would it be a Star Bomb every turn or would it just be like 20 crit stars for that turn and then that's it? I don't know. I think any buff to him would make him too good so ooh cool alter I've been seeing a lot of people saying cool alter might get an animation update which I hope he does because his animation is a bit outdated compared to of course a lot of other newer servants so I wouldn't be too opposed to that especially since I have him in the in the English game right here so uh, getting him a animation update who knows maybe he's the one that gets a buff I mean he got a NP buff was it an NP buff I think I think it was an NP buff Actually, did he get a buff at all? I f or am I confusing him with somebody else? Either way, I I just think he needs an animation update. Same thing with John Alter, of course, and a lot of other servants like uh, Sean mentioned. For sure. Okay, two more minutes till maintenance is over, and I'm going to move over to JP. We're going to do a couple of singles. Hopefully, I don't have to resort to a multi because I don't really care about getting another copy of Arjun Alter. I have him at NP1 only, so he's not the strongest. But... You know, with NP5 Morgan, I don't really need uh, Arjuna Alter. Even if he gets a buff. I, even if he gets a buff, he could get the craziest, most broken buff. I'll still stop at one copy because, you know, the rest of the year is still still a thing. What's up, Brandon? Kind of annoys me that cool Alter's glasses costume. It's with his first ascension, not his third ascension. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I feel like they should just apply it to every single ascension. Just give him, like, three. I guess they'll give every servant three. Enkidu kind of needs an animation update, but not as severely as others, not as desperately as others. So while I would welcome it, I think uh, they should apply animation updates to other servants first before him. He doesn't really need it as, as badly as other people. At least that's my opinion. I think his animations are solid, just not super crazy and aesthetically insane. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this boop. Because it's one more minute until the animate or not animation, the update is over, the maintenance. Alright, so let me just go to the game. I have the setup slightly different, so I have my phone down here now, so it's a little bit weirder, but it is what it is. Alright, well, hopefully you guys who are rolling in JP, hopefully you guys get Arjuna Alter, assuming he's up. I, I swear to God, if he's not up, I'm going to apologize to you guys and I'm just going to end the stream. <laughs> I'm just going to end the stream and be like, I'm sorry, guys. I just clickbaited all y'all. I'm sorry. Would you prefer older servants getting buffs or update animations? Um, Obviously, both is ideal. It depends on the servant, you know? If the servant is hot, super garbage with shitty... Uh, animations then you know both would be good but I think I would appreciate more animation updates than than buffs again it, it really depends on the servants but if I could only choose one or the other I would say animation updates because there are servants sometimes that they buff but then like their animations still ass and it's like you know can you you know update their animation as well you know yeah and the, and the game's already easy enough as it is at least um for the most part, until you get to those Lost Belt fights, and that's when you get your shit rocked. But, of course, depends on the player and what you have. Alright, so, let's go ahead. The moment of truth. Some of you guys may already know if he's up or not, because maybe your internet's faster, or your download was faster. Alright, let's see. Come on, Arjun Alter. If you're not up, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize to everybody that's been clickbaited. Did you see all that Funimation is basically death? Uh, dead? I, I don't know what you mean. Like the website or the company? I want Gil's uh, first skill and second skill to get buffs. Yeah, I agree. Especially his first skill. His first skill is such 
hot garbage. Okay. Uh, good man. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, okay. He does get a raid up, as I thought. Easy, easy. Did we get other? No, just him. Okay, what's the schedule looking like, though? Oh, wait, no. That's not what I meant to click. Um, Does he get a raid up with anyone else? Like, Kualter? alter? Is he going to say? I got to use my mouse to scroll down. This is kind of annoying. Okay, so he does have... There are other um, servants that are going to get raid ups for sure. Okay. Okay, okay. In the last two weeks. Two weeks. Nice. So... I'm going to do a couple of singles because one of the... I kind of want to get the Oberon craft essence as well. And I kind of want to hear the voice line. So I'm going to do a couple of singles. Hopefully I don't have to do a multi. I don't. I really don't want to. And I don't want to use all my tickets as well. Event! Ooh, what's this? The Dantas one. Four star. Fuck. Kind of wish it was uh, another thing. But I think this one's voice as well, right? Yep. See, so craft essences have voices now. It's interesting. I feel like Amoxa and Dantas always have a white day craft essence. Like, this is so weird. It's like I'm, I'm watching a, a card talk to me. Interesting. Oh, Funimation merged with Crunchyroll. Okay. I mean, that's that's a that's good. That's good though. Everything is just gonna be in one place now. Okay, so we started off with an event craft essence, and I think you could re-listen to the voice if you want by clicking on this thing over here. So, that's cool. Voice craft essence. Interesting. So we started off pretty strong, but at the same time, I want those five stars, though. I want those five star CEs. 100%. Okay, we got a servant, so automatically we're not getting anything lit nasty. Okay, no. I'm good. I'm good. Imagine this, FGO devs email you or knock on your door asking you to design the next... I just, I'm not the best person to ask to design a servant. I'm not really an artist like that. Wow, we're getting all the four stars. Okay, four star CE, nice. Which historical figure would it be? What skills? I mean, I'm going to be biased. I'm going to say Proto Gilgamesh, and I'm just going to give him the most broken skills ever. So that's where I would go, but... I'm letting them talk a little bit. Are they like dressed up as like? I was I was about to say I thought that was like Resident Evil reference. It's not. I thought I thought it was. They're just they're just being detectives, I guess. Watch him get Arjuna Alter. Listen, uh, it wouldn't be the first time that I would get a five star servant before I get. Yes, that's the three star CE I wanted, but it's obviously not a five star. Okay, okay. So that one's gonna talk a little bit. Ooh, Enkidu's voice, nice. This is so weird hearing the craft assistants talk. What the fuck? <laughs> I like it. I like it though. I want to get this one max limit broken, but I'll just use friend points for that, I guess. This one has Paris and Nemo, right? And I could see Alexander in the back. I think Voyager as well. I can't tell who's the one in the bottom right though. It's kind of hard to tell. Listen, I'm not trying to get Arjuna Alter. I just want the five star CEs and I'm getting the fuck out of here. But I do want to see his costume though. Okay, we'll do one more single. And then if it's not one of the five star CEs, then I'll just. Oh, it's a servant. For fuck's sake. No, oh, caster. Okay. Oh, I don't want to do a multi. Uh, okay. All right. I'm. A... You know what? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. <laughs> this. This. Because I really don't want to use my quartz. That's my problem. So I'm gonna do multi or not. So let's see. You guys already know where this is going. Even though I already know what you guys are gonna do, I just want—I just want to ask you guys. So should I do a multi or not? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go do go ahead and do the quest while you guys are doing that. I already get, know you guys are gonna put multi though. I already mean, know. All right, let's go ahead and just do a quest. Actually, did he get a buff? 
Did he get a buff? No buff. Okay, so just a Stalfa. No buff. So just making sure. All right, we'll do this quest real quick. I mean, it's zero IP, so it's okay. Another five singles. Oh, man, I just think about it. I'll think about it for sure. Okay. All right, eighty-nine percent of you guys are saying multi. All right, I guess I guess we're doing multi. F for a Salvo for sure. The only one I haven't done the strengthening quest. I picked not and it did multi. Ah, uh, that's a problem on YouTube's end. I mean, I assume most people would would have picked multi anyway. All right, wait. I want to check out the shop. I can't check out the shop yet. Okay. Okay, bet. Okay. Um. Let's go see. Let's go see what the poll is looking like. You guys could see that. Uh, we got 21 votes. And most of you guys are saying multi. It actually can't. It doesn't say the percentage over up there for some reason. It's not now. Well, if I end the poll now, right? It's going to say it. Oh, it just disappears. Okay. Uh, 25 votes. I mean, that's expected. That's expected for sure. So might as well. Oh, wait. Fuck. Might as well. Might as well. Might as well. It's okay. It's okay. I'll just do one multi though. Just one. I, I don't want to use more quartz. Famous last words. Famous last words. Famous last words for sure. By the way, if you guys didn't see his costume and the, his NP animation, this shit is fire. Oh, we got another one of those. Okay. We got another one of those. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, that one's nice. That one's nice. Say incident. <laughs> and we're going to try to prevent another say incident. Granted, instead of say, this is one of the most broken buster berserkers in the game. So I wouldn't be exactly mad. I mean, I wasn't mad at say either, but you get my point. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I could get more copies of that. I don't think I have an MP5. I'll, I'll take that, I guess. I'll definitely take that. Berserker. Yo, that spark though? Eww, that spark though? That would've been, that would've been cray cray for sure. Put my phone up here, it's actually easier for me. Five star CE, yes, okay, we got one. Okay, I don't care, I don't care. The rest of the roll could be ass, I don't care. I do not care. The rest of the roll, do not care. You could give me three Arjuna altars, I won't care. Uh, I'll, well, I will care, I'll, I'll actually kind of scream a little bit. Or a lot bit. Okay, so I just wanted one of the two five-star CEs, and then I'll just get the other five-star CE with the free ticket. There you go. Easy. Easy claim. Easy. That's nice. That's nice. Was there a lag on the stream? Oh, Sclepius is here as well. Or lag as in, like, uh, it was going to be a servant. Or, like, a five-star or something. That's hot. That's hot. That's hot. He's only pop popular with Gyaru girls, not cat good boys who destroy the world multiple times. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't think. What's the effect of the five star CE? I don't know. I just wanted it for the art. I have no idea what any of the CEs do, uh, gameplay wise. Just kind of wanted to get it for the for the art, for collection purposes. I think we got all the three star. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if we got all those three star ones. All right, so voicecraft assistance. We heard this one in the stream, but that's okay. The last stream we had. I find it so weird that Canis is there, but I know that Canis sort of identifies as a dude. But they made Canis look so much like a dude in this craft essence. It's it's kind of wild. At least Man Ricardo has has homies. Ooh, the the Oberon and Merlin one. This this one looks nice. Nice contrast in colors between the dark Oberon and the bright and light Merlin. It's a nice looking craft essence for sure. Yeah, I don't know what the CE does. I'm gonna go check that out actually. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Hey, right, doing a multi action wasn't that bad. I got what one of the things I wanted. I'll get the other thing that I want using the ticket that they gave us. Okay. 
Asia Doan Moriarty, I think, and Iskandar together. Yeah, that yin and yang effect, exactly, Kai. That yin and yang contrast. Yo, hearing Iskandar's voice kind of gave me goosebumps. Not gonna lie, bro. Not gonna lie. It's been a while since we heard like a new voice line for Iskandar. That's cool. Or Joe Alter didn't get a buff. I checked. I checked. I made sure he didn't. He doesn't have a buff. He's too good. He doesn't need a buff. He really does not need one. I think that's it. Okay, nice. Okay, what? The, actually, I want to know what you do. Okay, two time hit invincibility, and I think probably fifteen percent better NP gain. I'm assuming that's what that NP thing does. Either that or NP damage, but I, I assume it's NP gain. So, okay, pretty decent actually. That's a pretty good craft essence. What does this one do? Sure hit, arts, NP, okay. It's pretty standard. I'll go ahead and log that because it's event. Same thing with these ones. Yeah, no buff, unfortunately, for my Arjuna Altar fanboys out there. Which again, he doesn't need one, so it's okay. All right, so we dodged a bullet. We dodged a bullet. I mean, a bullet in the form of our Juno Altar isn't really a bullet. It wouldn't hurt me. It would actually make me feel good. But at the same time, I don't really need another copy of him. I'm good. I'm good with the amount of copies I currently have. And let me go ahead and burn some of the sermons I got. Let's go ahead and do that. And then, fortunately, this will be a very short stream. I will, I will do a couple of quests, talking to the homies, talking to you guys. And then we will... Ooh, I don't want to burn you. Unless I have you MP5 already. I'm just mistaken. I don't think I do, though. Oh, I do. Okay, well, fuck me. I'm th I must be thinking about NA then. Because NA, I definitely don't have you MP5. Okay, so I'm just going to burn these guys. Make sure I'm burning the right ones. Okay. Yeah, they buffed him with a costume. I mean, that's to me, that's good enough, man. That's good enough, in my opinion. Someone got mad at me. On Twitter because I have three kaleidoscopes. So somebody getting mad at you on Twitter? That's so unheard of, man. <laughs> Twitter is definitely the, the best place to, for healthy and civil discussions. Listen, Hunter, I would love to hang out with you, but I'm actually kind of sleepy. I'm a little bit sleepy. But that's okay. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Maybe... maybe uh, I'll stick around a little bit longer. It's just because, like, I, I don't want to, like, farm the event right now. Yo, it's Michael. He doesn't have his glasses, though. Um, they don't have all the, the available free quests yet. Assuming it's, like, every other White Day event or most other events out there. So, oh, this is a nice little intro. Um, I don't want to farm with the least efficient nodes, if that makes sense. All right, I'm going to go check if Cool Alter got an animation update. I don't have him in this account, so I, I have no idea if he did or not. Okay, it doesn't look like he did. I just checked. And, uh, the last time I did 12-hour stream, I nearly died, so I don't know about that, Chief. I was like, I mean, why are you mad when you have four imaginary elements? Uh, limit broken, that's just as good. And... You know, I, it's good. I wouldn't say just as good as a kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope is, you know, it's kaleidoscope, my guy. Yeah, Mr. Question Mark. This intro, though, it went full out. I assume you could get all these characters in their glasses. You know, I'm trying to get Enkidus, though. I'm going to get Enkidus. 11 hour stream, then. Dude, uh, the stars have to align for me to even consider that. The only times I do like a super long stream is like when it's a, like a lost belt or some other big event going on. Um, actually, yeah, might as well use this mystic code. It's almost level ten. Cool, cool. Sleep is indeed an important king of nerds for sure. Mordred's glasses are pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's the the red uh the red rims. She's like the only one besides Karna with a unique looking glasses, pair of glasses. Okay, I don't think Ku Alter got it. No, he, he's, he's the same. Yeah, he definitely didn't get an animation update. Otherwise, he would have had different animations for his skills. Um, No, we should be good. We should be good. So I'm going to do that. 
it's doing no damage. Because it's invisible. Do I have to use our Juno Alter's attack first? Is that how that's going to work or what? Oh, battle's just over. Okay, weird, weird quest, but nice. What's up, Drex? Thank you for uh, calling me Mr. MC, man. You, you seem to show your respect to, to your boy. To show some respect to me, man. I appreciate it. Mr. Drex. Actually, I don't know if you're a guy or a girl. So I'm just going to say um, Drex. That's it. <laughs> Cardinal looked like he just wanted to... Yeah, he, he's looking like a Gurren Lagann character, man. He's looking like he wants to get to the surface. And explore the world. And then die. Is that a spoiler? I don't want... I hope you guys have seen Gurren Lagann. <laughs> because if not, I just... Alright. Anyway. I mean, I don't, I don't say who dies. So, that, I think that's fine. Uh, let's do that. Okay, I think I could... I think I could kill this motherfucker now? Yeah, there you go. I seem cool. Alter will have a rate up as well at some point. No, you definitely need to get spoiled. Don't... Stop trolling. Otherwise, I'll feel really bad. Okay, so then that, that, and then NP. I think that's gonna work. Okay, NP. Oh no, okay. Just, what? Why? Why? Why is it just leaving? What's up, Soul Spirit? What's up? It's okay, you already knew someone was gonna die in that, in that show. You already knew. You just don't know who though. Would be nice if we had a card game tournament themed event in FGO. Would be fun. Um, you know, uh, in the game, you mean? Oh, I thought you meant in real life. I was like, oh, I mean, we do have FGO Duel. That, that's kind of a card game. I mean, it is. But you meant in the game. I, yeah, that'd be a cool theme for an event. We had like a board game event. Actually, we're getting that event this year for um, the US version, the English version. Uh, let me go check the shop. Can I get glasses and can do now? Shut your mouth, Michael. I. Oh, Michael's here. Wait, wait, what's his voice? Can you guys recognize his voice? Any experts out there? Sounds like he's a voice that we've never heard here in FGO. Oh man, I was kind of excited. I was like, oh shit. Bro, new voice, bro. Yukikaji? No, that's definitely not Yukikaji though. He has a very... um specific type of voice okay now i could just pick the gill one right this is the one i wanted to get yeah so it's gill archer and ku i don't know why they're doing this they all hate each other they all hate each other but you know they're chilling do i still get the voice line if i pick it i assume i do okay let me just pick that make sure am i picking the right one okay yeah okay there you go yes yes i'll pick that that is the one i want so i assume i just get it like that boom crap that sounds easy Easy peasy. You could also do this in the English version if you haven't already. In the English version of the White Day event. <laughs> Gil's voice kills me. Deserto, what the fuck? <laughs> This, wait, I just realized why why is Gil using a floaty? Does he not know how to swim? Is that new lore information? Gilgomesh doesn't know how to swim? Did we just learn something new about the King of Heroes? I can't wait to, to read the translation for this. This is a long ass fucking. <laughs> okay, what does this do? Oh, some kind of extra damage against something, and then quick and buster up. Okay, nice. But no, legit. Like, can can my homie not swim? Maybe he's wearing it to see what it feels like. Maybe. But the other two aren't wearing it. It's one of the most well-known floaties. Only he can use it, so he might as well. Uh, okay. 
Gilgamesh, my man. I mean, I don't know how to swim either, so like, I'm, I'm just like, okay. I guess Gil can't swim. I can't swim either, so I'm not, I'm not trying to roast him. I'm just surprised if that's the case. <laughs> he has, he has all these abilities and all these talents, and he, and he can't, and the homie can't swim. Oh, this is the costume. Oh, the, I'm assuming all of these are the glasses, right? And then this one. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to get for. I'm assuming that's Arjuna Alter's costume. Ooh. Oh, we got another... We got a silver version of that command code we got last uh, month. Maybe they trick him into it. Yeah, I can't wait to read that translation. It sounds hilarious. You're from an island nation now. I, I know. Everyone judges me when I say I can't swim. I just never really had the passion to... Or the drive to even learn how to swim. I just don't care about it. Ooh. Ooh, we could... We could use... Wait, the art. Wait, can I not look at the art? Fuck. Okay, I just want to look at the animations. I don't care if it's an inefficient team. Uh, we will equip craft instances though. We will do that. I want to see Arjuna Alter's animations with the quartz. Because if you, again, if you guys didn't see it, he attacks using quartz, bro. Uh, we might as well not just give you that. We'll give you uh, one of the three star ones. Actually, let's go. Let's go do that. So we're gonna look at two Arjuna altars back, like right next to each other. Fuck! I can't look at his final art. That's some bullshit. Watching your your uh, stream gave me the luck needed. Have my first double. Oh, you got double five star just just now. Oh fuck! Congratulations. Who did you get? Did you get two Arjuna altars? Because that's busted. That's really good. Really, really good. I don't know how to swim either. Yeah, see, see, you and me, Kai, you and me are together, man. We're, we're land dwellers. We're not sea creatures. I like how the thing turns silver. The, the, the two back, I guess, claws. I don't know what to call them. He attacks with quartz, bro. Okay, so the animations are pretty much the same as normal Arjun Alter. Just... Ooh, that, that's sick. That's sick. I like how he just attacks with quartz. That's so funny. Really nice. Really nice. Yeah, I don't like the water too, uh, Jax. I, I, I absolutely hate the water. I'm like a cat. Even though I don't like cats, but I'm going to compare myself to a cat. I'm like a cat. I just do not like water. I almost drowned as well once, and I still don't do not want to learn how to swim. Exactly, bro. I almost uh, drowned as a kid too. That's probably where that came from. I know how to swim, though I don't really like it lately. Lately? So, okay. Because of the weather or what? What's going on, man? He's basically telling you to get quartz to summon him. Listen, I already have him, so I'm good. I already have him. Yeah, I know, I know a good handful of people that don't know how to swim, but every time I come across somebody who knows how to swim and then they hear that I don't know how to swim, they're like, what? You don't know how to swim? Excuse me? Like, how do you not? I'm just like, dude, like, it's not that serious. It's not a skill everybody knows and needs to know. Like, I, I get it. You know, swimming feels nice. And people like going to the beaches, but I personally don't care about going to the beach. I like walking in, the, uh, like, by the beach, by the ocean, but... Don't really care about getting into dirty ass fucking water. I guess it depends on where you live, but where I live, the water isn't really the most, you know, clean in the universe. Yo, imagine seeing you lost 14 quarts when you finish the mission. Guy actually uses your quarts. Then I will never use them ever. Guess I got bored of it. Okay. Okay, I see. I mean, you know, there's only so much you could do in the water. I mean, you could play some certain sports in the water, so I mean, just try to spice it up or something. Or maybe get a girlfriend and you guys could do something freaky in the water, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Saying you could spice it up. You could definitely spice it up. I want his costume right now. Fuck. I want, I want his costume. Okay, so these are the right items I need. Okay, I'll do the quest one more time. Probably best thing about the beach is lying on the beach and sun tanning. I, that's another thing too, actually, King of Nerds. I don't like tans. I don't know why. I just... I get, uh, nothing against people who get tans. But, for example, if, if you wear a tank top a lot, and then you remove it, and then you just have this, like, 
outline of a tank top around your shit. I don't know. Something about it. I, I don't know if there's like a phobia about it. It just kind of... I guess I have a phobia of tan lines. I'm not sure. I mean, everyone has a tan to a certain degree. Like, if you look at my arms, it's like a gradient that slowly gets darker and lighter depending on where you're looking at on my body. But, I don't know. When, it, when it's, like, super duper, like, I guess obvious that there's a tan there, it's just like, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it. I just not a huge fan. Not a huge fan of tans. But that, that's just me, though. That, that really is just me. Okay, so I need the 5-star C to get more of that item. Okay, whatever. Is a guy in the shop a servant after all? We don't know yet. We do not know. I don't like sand. It's coarse and gets everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I could live with sand. I could live with sand. When it comes to the beach, sand is probably the one thing I'm not annoyed of. When I went to the Philippines, I swam a lot. Went with my family and friends, so swimming and playing in the water wasn't boring. Where I live, there's not much swimming. Oh, shit, I see. Yeah, even when I lived in the Philippines, like, the, you know, we went to beaches, to pool parks and stuff like that with the family. And I just never was intrigued or, like, felt the need or desire to swim. I don't know if there's a phobia, but there's definitely a fetish. Oh, God. Yeah, some people love tan lines. As you said, as you insinuated, but me, nah. Yeah, same. I don't like tans on females. I prefer pale skin, but that's just me. Well, you know, that's just a preference. That's just definitely just a preference. Like, if you're tan throughout your entire body and, like, there's no obvious, like, super duper crazy tan line, then I'm not mad. But if I'm looking at your body and then it's, like, it's, like, dark, 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 and then just all of a sudden white with, like, no transition, it's just, that's just weird. MC, second chance at life. Uh, you choose which country you would be born in, born in which country. Fuck. You know, the weeb in me wants to say Japan. Let me think about it. Would I want to be born in Japan? I, mean, uh, I gotta think about other places. I really like Italy. So I kind of want to say Italy. It's because I really like the food and the architecture and just like the culture in general. I really find their shit fascinating. But I will, I, I think I'm leaning towards Japan. I'll say Japan. As far as why, I mean, you know, it's because, you know, the culture and the anime, stuff like that. I mean, it's generic shit, to be honest. I, I, yeah, the work culture, I heard it's very bad there. Like people like legitimately get super depressed because of work and like the expectations and, you know, stuff like that. That's why I kind of hesitated. I was like, Mm. Well, when you take that out of it, it's not that bad, I guess. It's, uh, you know, every place has their pros and cons, though. You can't really say, oh, you know, Japan has this, so, you know, why would you choose that? You know, every place has their cons. Um, I really think, yeah, tsunamis are scary, so are earthquakes, for sure. Not Japan. For me, bullies there are way more common than here. Yeah, I yeah, uh, may, maybe. I mean, I I don't know the the bully statistics over there, so I can't really tell you. I mean, when I lived over in the Philippines, which is close to Japan, so I mean, I don't know if that is even relevant at that point. But I used I got bullied a shit ton over at the Philippines, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, it's, it's bad there too. I'm not sure. No, oh, Wakanda lit. No, honestly, Mesopotamia. That's where. No, I actually know because Mesopotamia today is modern day Middle East and I have nothing against like Middle Eastern culture it's just like you know with all the the war and all the other political garbage that goes on over there I just don't want to deal with that okay I think this is Arjuna Alter's costume right let me just pick that let me just pick that yes sir okay yes okay let me go get his costume let me go buy that shit let me go buy that shit. Is it down here? Wait, why can't why can't I get it? Why can't I get it? Is it locked? Do I? Is it in my present box? What? Like what's going on here? Did I not? Is that not his costume or is that somebody else's? It's cool alters. Are you fucking kidding me? I don't have cool alters. <laughs> are, are, are you kidding me? Are, are you for real? I can't even access the costume yet? Bruh, okay. But you know what? It'd be like that. It'd be like that. 
it, it really do be like that. You know, I wanted to see the fine art. I wanted to look at it. You know, here's voice lines, I guess. All right. I, I smell it. I smell it. That's cool. You can see cool altar in the cost. I don't have cool altar though. So it, it, I'm not really interested. Well, that's some hot garbage. Wait, let's see. It's some hot trash. Kind of anticlimactic. Kind of wanted to use this costume a little bit on my own or do an altar, but it's okay, I guess. Why does it scroll all the way down? Jesus. All right. Uh, we're good. You know what? Arjuna Alter, since you don't have your costume on right now, screw you for now. Screw you for now. I'm going to go use your female counterpart, Morgan. And we're just going to go from there. All right, I'll see you later, uh, King of Nerds. I'll see you later. Thank you for hanging out. For sure. Damn, this is... This Man, I, I wanted to cost him. I'm a little bit disappointed. Just a little bit. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy because I, I got what I wanted pretty early. Okay, now let's just rely on Morgan. I have an essay for school. Oh, yeah, get that shit done, my guy. Get that shit done. Good luck with that essay, by the way. Hopefully, you ace that shit and you murder that shit, man. All right, good job, Morgan. Good job. Good job. High five. I wonder what uh, lasagna or lasango, however you pronounce the goddamn new uh, publisher's name. I wonder what other plans they have for the game because they added the... Well, wait, I didn't even check the... Because um... you could put two servants in the support, or not support, in my room now. Oh shit, I, I need to check that out too. Yeah, yeah, die, die. Easy. Let me check that out. See if there's like custom lines or anything. See how that works. Right, easy farm, easy farm. Easy. Wonder what uh, JP seventh anniversary will be because they hyped it up pretty early. Yeah, they did. Road to seven. I don't. I don't know why they're hyping it up so early, but who knows? Maybe it's like the one thing we've been wanting, like a Suki Hime collab on seventh anniversary. That would be pretty hype. Maybe just a collab in general, like an outside the Nasiverse thing. Because I know. I, I mean, I don't really care about that, but I know a lot of people would shit themselves at a at an outside collab. So maybe. Yo, lasagna, if, if they, you know, they've been doing really well lately. You know, if they do a, a, uh, a Shinji servant, oh, man, I, like 100%, bro, like they could have my money. Can't wait to have both Iresh and Ishar in my room. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one for sure. Oh, I need to put Enkidu and Gil in my room. 100%. They could have the room. It's not going to be my room anymore. It's going to be called their room. Okay, I'll check after this quest. Date alive? I highly. They're not gonna do like fate alive. What collab? Fate alive? No. Did you pull? I did. I did pull. I did. I did indeed. Not too much though. I want demon slayer collab. Demon slayer collab. You know, two UFO table um a series collaborating. Not that figure and order got animated by UFO table, but you know, it boosted in popularity because of UFO table. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, Tanjiro's getting his shit slapped 100%. He's gonna be too busy breathing and narrating to himself while getting impaled by the Gate of Babylon or other crazy shit. But I mean, that would be a cool collab nonetheless. All jokes aside. How did you guys feel about um, Season 2, by the way? Uh, for those of you guys who have seen Demon Slayer. No manga spoilers, by the way. Or no spoilers in general. Unless all of you guys have seen Demon Slayer, then I guess we could spoil it a little bit. How do you guys feel about that shit? I'll give my opinion later. It was fun, okay? It was, f yeah, I, w I agree. It was a fun season. Had a lot of uh, fun moments, especially in the beginning. 
Would you give sis pets or she pets? Uh, yes, yeah, I would. I mean, I feel like she'll bite my fucking finger off, but yeah. Oh, animation was top tier. I mean, it's UFO table. That's like, you know, if they weren't going to deliver with the animation, then, you know, there's something wrong. You know, that's just something to expect from UFO table. For sure. As for my opinion, um, obviously, like I said, animation was good. Music was good. I liked uh, the second opening because it was Aimer. It was a very different from her usual uh, style of uh, music that I'm used to. But nonetheless, ooh, okay, second. Yeah, there you go. Second, there you go. Gil? Gil? How, how do I how do I look at that? How, how do I... How do I... I... I picked him. Does he... Does he... Excuse me? How does this work? Does it have to be a guy? Like like two guys because it's a white day event? Wait. Oh, okay. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking dumbass. And it still only shows Morgan. What? A am I am I am I missing something here, man? Am I missing something? Okay, wait. Okay, I pick Gil. I pick Enkidu. Says I can't pick anymore. Okay. Click that. Oh! Okay, I was I not clicking the bottom right? Okay. That makes more sense now. Okay, so now they're both here. Do they speak? They, they, they don't speak? Y'all y'all can't talk? You, you can't talk, man? You, they don't talk? What the? They don't talk? What's what? Hey, I'm I'm clicking them. This first screenshots are what? Come on, lasagna! Come on, man! At least let them talk. They're just staring into my soul. Like Gil looks at me like he's disappointed, and then Enkidu is looking at me like I'm. Listen, I'm, I'm gonna be the good cop here. He's gonna be the bad cop. All right. Okay. Archer Blades, by the way, I kind of, I do agree. I, th I like season one better, like a lot better, but I still like season two. Season two is all okay. It's just, I, I think season one is still better. Never say anything. Yeah. I mean, it's my room though. Like, yeah, they never say anything about dialogue, but still, if I could click them, that's, that's a little bit disappointing. I, okay, wait, can... Kama? Oh, wait, wait. Kama and Kiara? Oh, fuck. I fucking... I keep clicking back. I, I'm so used to that. No, no, not that Kiara. This Kiara. Yo, it looks so convoluted. What the fuck? They're both, like, blocking each other. <laughs> but they don't talk. Why? Okay. All right. Well, that. Wow. I'm just getting. I'm just getting disappointed. I, I should just maybe stop playing the game. Just uninstall. I mean, that, that's cool for screenshots, but like, you know, if you have a photo editor, you could just do that your, yourself, I guess. That, that's cool. But yeah, I mean, back to back to Demon Slayer, man. Uh. I mean, somebody said you thought season one was boring. No, I I, I think season one was a lot. Like, season two is funner, technically. It's technically more entertaining. But I think the story of season one is just blows season two out of the water. I think season two, like, has nothing to add into the story as a whole. If that makes sense. Like, everything that happened there is not really going to lead into anything too crazy in the future. At least that's the feeling I got out of it. I could be completely wrong. Like, okay, the sound house should have... Okay, I, I shouldn't spoil it. But, okay, something happens. <laughs> and, I mean, I kind of already said something happens to somebody. Which, there's like an empty seat now. But that's about it. Like, that's the only important thing. What's up? Oh, what's up, Travis? Okay, wait. 
I just, I just got a no brain, just like attack with Berserker Zance because there's nobody else with. Okay, I'll just. I kind of want to. Mm, I guess I'm going to go back to this. Fuck it. Yeah, I can relate to that. Good luck, though. It's going to be like that until the climax. Really? Fuck. Yeah, it, it is a little bit repetitive. It, it is a little bit repetitive. Second choice would be uh, Scotta and Scotty. Ooh, that's a good one. I guess if they had Live 2D, it would blow people's phones up. Yeah, no, Live 2D, I think that would be too much. Like, I see, like, a lot of fans do their own renditions of Live 2D, so it's definitely possible. Like, if fans could do it, then, like, a, a full-blown company should have the resources to do it. It's just that, you know, the game files would be way too big. Like, FGO's files are already insanely big. If they do Live 2D, it's probably going to double in size, and then it might lag out the phones of certain people, you know? Oh, Attack on Titan's just killing it. I have very little complaints about Attack on Titan. Yeah, to save the world. Yeah, fucking... Uh, the, the ending of the last episode, I was just like... I, I will say this. The, the One of the things that if I were to nitpick, if I were to really like analyze and criticize uh, the final season of Attack on Titan, uh, I feel like the last episode we got like the latest episode we got i don't know if maybe it's different in the manga i'm not sure um but it i feel like things went by too fast like the pacing was kind of off like they sort of just threw a lot in your face in one episode and like i don't know i would have preferred it if it was spaced out more and and th there's a certain character i don't want to spoil it a certain character reunites with the main squad and the way they do it was funny, but then looking at it from like a story perspective, I'm just like, okay, I mean, that's one way to reintroduce this character back, but I guess, you know, yeah, I, I would have preferred it if it was a bit more, I guess, a little bit more serious, just a little bit. Because I mean, that character was like very, very, like a, like a big threat in like the first season. And then they reintroduce that character like, like a joke. And I'm just like, okay. I guess. Last episode was one of the most hated chapters from the manga readers. Oh, fuck. You hate that, Arch, please? I, I, I saw your your retweet, or I don't think you retweeted it, but I think you liked somebody else's tweet, and I agreed with it. I was like, yeah, I felt the same way. I just didn't say anything, because I was like, I think a lot of people like this. I personally was like, eh. You know, it's, it's funny, it's entertaining, I guess, but, eh. Yeah, they're, they're just like like nothing happened. They're just they're just homies. Like I get it. There's like a bigger picture. There's like a bigger threat going on. So like they have no time to like argue or like you know sit around and you know conversate for like an entire episode. But I you know, I would have appreciated it if it was a, a bit more seamless. I guess instead of just like here here here's the character. Uh, this character's back now. Main squad. What's up, homies? It's like okay okay shit. There's still a bit of content, not sure how they... I heard that they might do a movie. I heard that they might do a movie. But don't quote me on that. As somebody with the Attack Titan, my... My, my uh, visions of the future is very uh, foggy, a little bit. So I can't really tell you, but that's what I heard. That's what uh, a little voice in my head told me. There isn't enough for a movie. Well, it depends. What if it's like a three-hour spectacular, man? At worst, they might... The worst possible outcome is that they... They rush everything. Again, the last episode felt rushed, but if it was like that in the manga, then I guess it's like that in the manga, too. Um, the worst thing that they could do is rush the story and then ruin it for anime watchers. Another thing that they could do is like... I mean, they did Final Season Part 2. What, like, what's stopping a Final Season Part 3? You know? Like, if they could do a final season part one and two, like, final season, season part three? I mean, it's kind of bullshitting it a little bit, but still. <laughs> that episode adapted one chapter. Oh, shit. Yeah, and... 
like again looking at it I, I don't know if i'm just like nitpicking super hard right now and i'm sorry for everyone that's like not caught up to attack on titan or don't give a fuck but like this is the conversation we're having right now so i again i don't want to spoil it just in case you're not caught up but uh th those of you guys who know you guys will know what i'm talking about so what how do i say this like the little arc with you know who taking you know who to throw into his mom's mouth to revive her that whole little bit that whole mini arc kind of does not fucking matter it that's how the the last episode the previous episode um started with that arc starting or was it two episodes ago with that that little conflict started and then they they ended that conflict really quickly like i thought it was gonna, gonna be this whole thing where there's gonna be a lot of drama a lot of like infighting and you know a lot going on but then they literally resolved it really quick and i'm just like eh. you know you could have removed that and it, the story would be the same you know it would, it would be the same never <laughs> you never liked him oh God, yeah he, he was being a little bitch i'm not gonna lie he was being a little bitch but yeah that part, that's what i'm saying the part was pointless it's like okay like if Again, the worst thing that they could do is rush the anime. And if they end up doing that, then that's a shame. Because they could have just cut that entire small arc out and saved some time. You know? I don't know why you're spamming that, my guy. But I'm going to go ahead and put you to timeout. Um, uh, yeah, 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 no. no get, get out of here. Get, get out of here. Oh, we both timed him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get out of here. I, I don't know what you were talking about, but... Nah, we we don't do we don't do that here, unless I ask you guys to spam. Hope I'm not ranting too hard. No Archer Blaze, I appreciate it. I like, you know, I like I like healthy discussions as long as you're not you know, blinded by hate and just hating on it for the point of hating on it. I mean, I know you're not hating on it. I I, I get the impression that you're like a fan of the series and you're just you know, expressing your criticisms. That's all. Like, I, I love Demon Slayer, but, like, I talk so much shit about Demon Slayer off-screen. You guys have no idea. Like, my friends that watch it with me, you guys know. Like, if, if anyone in my friend group is watching right now, you guys know how much I absolutely take a dump on, especially the latest season. I took a dump on it, but, you know, I, it's just it's just me. I, I love the series, though. It's just, it's a product of, of, my, of my passion for, for the series. I'm not hating on it for the sake of hating on it. I, I hate it because I love it. You know, it's, it's one of those paradoxes. Then Armin, just a reminder, this is the... Yeah, no. Um, I don't know. Our Armin needs to man up a little bit. He needs to, he needs to man up a little bit. By the way, Archer Blaze is kind of a spoiler. I don't know if you want to you know, be like that. <laughs> if you're not caught up on Attack of Titan, don't read his message. <laughs> yeah, it's that, it's that copium action, man. Okay, uh, I like the AOT manga, but when, uh, I didn't read that spin-off Hunter, actually, I didn't read that. <laughs> Archer Blade, you retracted it. It's, it's okay, it's okay, I'm not mad, by the way, I just, like, you know, I don't know if other people are caught up, so I just make it sure. Drex, I don't know if you're serious, if you're serious, I apologize on behalf of my colleague, but we didn't mean it. I'm sure he didn't mean it. You know, it's just, it's just, we're just talking. We're just conversating, man. Uh, we're just chilling here. All right. I might do like this quest like two more times and then stop streaming because there's like really nothing going on in this one. I mean, okay. I kind of want to talk about Demon Slayer again. I don't know why. So the thing with Demon Slayer season one that I liked a lot. Actually, you know what? I don't want to get into it because I feel like I'm going to get very, very heated. I'm just going to shut up. I was already getting a little bit heated. It was three It was three years ago, but, you know. Some people... Like, my girlfriend never caught up. She never caught up to the second time until, like, last week. Like, a two weeks ago. Honestly, Drex, that's... Where the anime is going on... Going where... Where the anime is going right now? I don't know why... Took me a while to formulate that sentence, but uh, I would say you know just stop at season one. 
Season two is fun. Mugen Train is fun, but I kind of see where the story is going, and I'm just like, okay. It's just another. Like, <laughs> am I really going to talk about this right now? Am I really going to rant? So, the thing with me is that I really, really do not like cliche shit. You know, you can do cliche shit. It depends on how you present it and how much cliche shit you do. And I feel like season one didn't have too much of that. Like, there were some ass pulls here and there, for sure. Shonen ass pulls that, like, a lot of shonen anime do. But I'm able to look past it. I'm gonna be like, you know what? It's fine. It's different enough from other shonens that I've seen. I'm good. Season two, though, especially those last two episodes, I'm just like, these are the biggest ass pulls I've ever seen in shonen in a long time. And this is a shame because I, I like Demon Slayer. I, like I said, I really like it. It's just those ass pulls. I, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. Like the ass pulls get super fucking ridiculous. I'm just like, how the fuck did he survive that? How did he do that? He shouldn't be able to do that. Like that. When was this established? You know, it's shit like that. But you know, that's just the nature of uh, of shonens in general. Sh shonens love to. Uh, do those ass pulls. And I mean, you know, Fate does it. A lot of anime does uh, ass pulls here and there. But, oh, that, those, that ending to season two. I, I, I was not the biggest fan. I won't be watching Demon Slayer if it was. That's, you know what? That, you know, I brought this up before, but like, re real shit though. Real shit. If Demon Slayer was not animated by UFO Table, if it was not recommended by the... The writer of Fate itself, uh, Nasu. I feel like nobody would like give it the time of day. And I don't know if that's a hot take. I don't know if that's a hot take or not. But that's that's just an opinion. That's just an opinion. You guys could disagree if you want. I truly think like if it wasn't for UFO tape, I mean, you could say the same thing about Fate too, right? You could say the same thing about Fate. A lot of people wouldn't know it unless, uh, if it wasn't for UFO Table adapting Fate Zero and then Unlimited Blade Works. So you can say the same thing about both. Um, what if they do the cliche in a really good way perfectly? Again, it, it depends on how it's presented. And it depends on the cliche as well. Like the cliche of ass pulls, I don't think there's a way that you could do that perfectly. Because an ass pull is an ass pull. Like if they do an ass pull like at the end of an episode... And then the next episode, they explained how they did their thing. That to me, it's not an ass pull anymore, because an ass pull is something that comes out of nowhere and it wasn't developed. Like it, there was no foreshadowing of that thing happening. And I feel like the ending of the uh, of the second season had so many of that, where a character gets up after getting you know absolutely railed and fucked, and we just it's like, how did you do that? And then uh, new abilities get thrown into it. And you're just like, where did you get that ability? How? What? When was this established? The manga art was pretty trash too, but I can see why a lot of people like it because even me and my family can watch it together. No, it's a, it's an entertaining anime. Like I I love watching it with my friends. It's a very entertaining, very fun show. The characters are fun as well. It's just, you know, the the critique, the uh, the critic inside of me just cannot stand the ass pulls. You know. And it's a shame too because um, one of my biggest gripes with season one, and again, I prefer season one uh, uh, of the two seasons that we've gotten so far. But one of the things I uh, I liked, or not liked, one of the things I disliked about um, season one is that, you know, we, we all know how it starts. If you haven't seen Demon Slayer episode one at least or know the premise, if you don't at least know the premise, then I'm sorry, but I'm about to talk about episode one. Just episode one. Um... You know, Tanjiro comes back home and his family's slaughtered. And we've seen this, um, pr like, this premise or this cliche before, you know. Uh, main character's family gets killed or somebody important to them gets killed right off the bat. And then they go into this rampage or whatever, this revenge quest. You know, Attack on Titan is very much like that as well. Uh, but it's a little bit different in Demon Slayer because, you know, we know Nesco's alive. His sister's alive. But as a demon... And then now his quest is not necessarily about revenge, but it's about uh, healing his sister and finding a way to to help her, which adds a new twist. You know, it's not just like, oh, I want to have revenge on all these demons. I want to kill them all. I'm like, no, there's that. There's a little bit of that, but there's also him wanting to help his sister. So I like that. I like that a little bit. 
But I don't like the fact that he doesn't have, like, Tanjiro doesn't have a mean streak about him. He doesn't have a mean streak. Like, he, he literally saw his entire family dead. His entire ass family besides his sister gone, destroyed, decimated, blood everywhere. But he doesn't show that much, at least in my opinion, that much remorse or that much anger about it. And that just kind of bothers me a little bit. It's like, I don't really, I can't empathize with you. Like, you're not, I, I think he only mourned about his family once in season one. He only mourned about them once. And it just, what? Like, I, I get it. He's a pure boy. He's very heroic, you know, mo like most shonen main characters. I understand. I get it. He's supposed to be pure and and uh, all about that, that, that positive shit. But, you know, it would be cool if he had a little mean streak going on, too. You know, if he was a little bit of a savage, a little bit of savagery, you know, doesn't hurt anybody. So... I mean, Tanjiro being like Batman, I don't know about that, but, you know, keep, keep his, keep his, you know, pure heart and justice and all that shit, but, you know, add, add a bit of savagery in there. Just sprinkle a little bit. Like, one time, Travis, just one time. Like, that's it. And then, after, like, it, it annoys me that at the end of Mugen Train, for example... It's just Tanjiro as a whole, if I'm going to be honest. It's just Tanjiro as a whole. It just kind of bothers me. At the end of Mugen Train, he's very emotional because of what happened. You guys know if you've seen Mugen Train. And then at the beginning of the next arc, he's bending over backwards, scrubbing the floors of random ass people and smiling at them and kissing ass. Like that makes... Like how? How do you go from... I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. You go from very disheveled, very, I guess, angry... And then, like, a couple of episodes later, you're just, you're just sucking dick. Like, it, what? No, I, I want to see you be a little bit enraged, a little bit, you know, angry, you know? I want to see a little bit of that. I want to see you fuck some shit up, be, be an absolute savage. And he did a little bit, he did a little bit in season two, but... And then, and then the ass pulls happened, and I'm just like, oh, god damn it. But, you know, that's just, that's just my main shit. That's, just, that's my main problems. Is it's to do with Tanjiro. I can't empathize him as a main, as a main character. I cannot empathize with him. Like his situation, I, I cannot. Whereas somebody like Aaron, like I feel for him. I'm like, oh shit, I feel, I feel your emotions, man. I feel your anger. I feel your sadness. Tanjiro, I'm just like, I, you don't seem that disturbed that your entire family got fucked. Like, you literally had your one moment of confronting Muzan, and that's it. And it makes no sense. He's, he's like a little ass kid. He, sh he should be acting and saying irrational shit. And I guess you can make the argument, oh, he's not, he's, you know, he's not, in, he's not revenge filled because, you know, he still has a sister. He has to focus on protecting her and making sure she's all right. I mean, she doesn't, like, let's be honest, after season two, she doesn't really need any protecting. Like, she's doing the protecting, if anything. So, shout out to Tanjiro, man. You're like, you're cool, I guess, but I'm not, you know, I, I don't feel for you at all. Absolutely. You know, Eren's, like, character development is something else. But at the end of the day, I could empathize. I understand why he acts the way he does. I I just do not understand why Tanjiro acts like a happy-go-lucky motherfucker 90% of the time after seeing his, his family just destroyed. It just, it just sort of bothers me a little bit. Oh, you want to talk about my hero, man? Hunter, don't... You want... Oh, don't, don't even mention my hero, man. If there's... <laughs> Oh man, I'm, I'm not ready to like punch something, bro. I, I just, I really do not like Midoriya. I do not like Deku at all. Like he's like a generic main character, you know, shonen, happy-go-lucky fuckboy. And you know, that, that's all well and good. You know, if anything, I watch for the other characters in the end of the day of My Hero. But holy shit. Because his whole thing is, he's like the underdog, right? He was born without a quirk. He gets a quirk from his, you know, his hero, and then he slowly but surely 
rises to the top of being the best hero. That's like this whole thing. It's an underdog story, and I like underdog stories, don't get me wrong, but <sighs> there's just something about him, man. Something about him. And it goes back to what I said earlier, the ass pulls in Shonen Anime. And my hero is like the epitome of like ass pulls with, with um, Midoriya especially. And if you guys are caught up with the latest season or even caught up with the manga, then you guys know that there's more to like his quirk, the, the quirk that he got from All Might uh, One For All than meets the eye. And like the random ass buff that he got with that quirk is... You guys know what I'm talking about. I, I think it's the most stupid thing ever. Because the whole thing uh, of him getting All Might's quirk is that he's going to make it his own. You know, he, he focus more on, focuses more on kicks than punches. Which is pretty cool, you know. He's he's making the quirk his own, but then something happens, and then he acquires something else. You guys know what I'm talking about, and I think that's so stupid. I'm like, what? He's like super OP now. Like what? Saying the hero killer was my favorite character in my hero. You know, he was a cool character. He was different. Someone threatened to burn my house down because I don't like JoJo. You guys don't even want to hear what I think about JoJo for sure. I hate my hero, man. Deku's inner voice should be Emiya Archer calling his dream stupid. Yo, Ar I Archer needs to travel over to the My Hero universe and uh, gi give Midoriya a spanking, bro. He, he deserves it. But yeah, I just, I, I cannot stand, like, I'm sorry if I'm not being that articulate. It's just I can't, I don't want to spoil shit for anybody. But yeah, that's my whole gripe with uh, Shonen's. Particularly Demon Slayer and My Hero. Which are so shows I watch and I still enjoy. It's just the critic in me screams every time I see something that I objectively is just trash. Otherwise, very good shows. With solid stories. I wouldn't say great stories, but solid. And depending on how both of those animes end, I'm going to be very disappointed or very happy. I don't think there's any in-between where I'm like, you know what, I'm okay with this. Oh, Code Geass is a masterpiece, Travis. Masterpiece. I like how that flame hero, the number two guy, tried to change and be a better dad, I'll be honest. Yeah, you know, I like... Yeah. Again, like I said, I like the... Every other... Like, not every other character. I fucking hate Yida, for example. But I don't watch the show for Midoriya. I don't care about his journey at this point. Like, his journey was somewhat interesting at the beginning, but as it progressed, and then, you know... After he acquires something new, I'm just like, okay, you're no longer interesting as a main character. I'm going to go focus on the other characters. Like Endeavor, for example. I think Endeavor has a pretty cool, I guess, um, origin story, I guess you could say. A little backstory going on. I guess the only thing I don't like is that um, Todoroki, like his son, Shoto, fucking so annoying with the emo... Like PTSD shit. Like I get it. I get it. Like you don't really like your dad. You miss your mom. I, I understand. You have PTSD. But get over yourself, bro. Like come on, get good. <laughs> I feel like I'm being like very uh, unsympathetic with it with his uh, backstory. But you know, be like that. My mom is getting more into anime. That's really cool, man. I have a friend who watches anime with their parents as well, and I'm just like, how how do you do that? So I'd I'd love to like introduce certain shows to my parents, but I, I feel like they just think anime is just for children or something. And I'm just like, no, it's not. I mean, some are for sure. Some some are really good though, and they they could be for adults and kids. I think Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist is still a really good main character. Not perfect. I I prefer him over Tanjiro and Midoriya any day of the week. Like Deku and Tanjiro would be bottom tier motherfuckers and then Edward would be like A maybe S tier as far as shonen anime because I think Full Malagamist is a shonen right it's considered a shonen and that's one of my favorite animes of all time but it doesn't really do ass pulls like that like when, when something comes out of nowhere they explain it that's what I want from these animes right I want them to explain everything in great detail so it doesn't look like an ass pull Sass pulls are things that just come out of nowhere and then they don't really develop it. Now that Gajuna's return is real, time to save up 900 cents for pity. True. 
True. By the way, I, I already rolled. And I think I'm going to be done streaming just because I don't want to continue farming. This quest is not the most efficient quest to come out. Obviously, there's more quests to come out later. But yeah, I think I'm pretty much done. I already rolled. I got the CEs I wanted. I'm pretty much done with uh, rolling in this. Um, but yeah, I mean, the anime talk was pretty cool. Uh, I think in the future, I want to bring it up again when there's uh, a lot more viewers to give their opinion because I think talking about this is very intriguing and reading you guys' opinions, whether you agree or disagree, is pretty fun as well. As long as, as long as we're civil about it. I mean, I know I cuss a lot, but I'm not shitting on you guys. I'm just shitting on the shows. Fuck, the, fuck those shows. I mean, I love them. It's like it's like a love-hate relationship. I, I love watching them, but it just pissed me off a lot. Which form of Alchemist do you like more, OG or Brotherhood? Oh, Brotherhood. Easy. That's like e easy, easy question, bro. Easy, easy answer. But yeah, I hope you guys somewhat enjoyed the stream. Uh, sorry, it's a bit short, but again, like not really much to do with this event. Uh, this will be uploaded as a video afterwards. So if you guys want to rewatch it or whatever, then go right ahead. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know when that's going to be. Probably Lost Belt 5 in NA. Because that should be coming out this month, right? It's coming out this month. I love fate and hate it at the same time. You know, it's again, everything is a love-hate relationship. But it's, it all roots from our passion and our uh, and what we like and what we don't like. Am I late? You are very late because I'm about to end the stream. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>